I ask that you would follow the directions of the us ushers as you bring forth your offering. A little march in music this morning. My mother would say, Lord, I just want to thank you. 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 I want to thank you for being so good to me. Come on, y'all. So good to me. Lord, I just want to thank you. 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 I want to thank you for being so good to me. Oh, good to me. Oh, Lord, I just, I want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. Oh, Lord, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for being so good to me. So good to me. That's mommy would say that. She'd say, when I was sick, Lord, you healed me. 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 I want to thank you for being so good to me. So good to me, so good to me, so good to me, so good to me. He's been good, he's been real good, so good to me, so good to me, so so good to me. So good to me, so good, so good to me, so good to me. I wanna thank you for being so good to me, so good to me. Wanna thank you, Lord. I I just wanna thank you, Lord. I just wanna thank you, oh Lord. I just, Lord. I just wanna thank you. I wanna thank you for being so good to me. So good 
to me. So good to me. So good to me. So good to me. So so good to me. So good to me. So good to me. I wanna thank you for being so good to me.
I give honor to my beautiful wife, and I thank God for healing her body. I give honor to Pastor Barry and his companion in that absence. I give honor to the whole entire church of faith. And I thank God for being back in this house one more time to lift up his holy name. Because it's all about the name of Jesus. We are just serving for his use. That's all we are. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. I want to praise your holy name. So I was asked to say some words, and I went home last night. I said, Lord, what should I say? And he told me to go to Matthew 24 chapter. And the disciple asked the Lord, what will be a sign of his coming back this time? And he said, let no man deceive you. But many false witnesses have come to my name. But believe it or not. He also has said there will be wars and rumors of war. Nation against nation. Kingdom against kingdom. They call right wrong your wrong right. Heavenly Father, the echo of like a Jesus is happening right now. It ain't just the Lord. He's been having from generation to generation. The Lord is soon to come back. So you need to get your house in order. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, that I'm saved and filled with the pressure you put on the I am so grateful to you that you shared your blood. Hallelujah on Calvary. But you were believing even before you got to Calvary. Hallelujah. When they came and got you in the garden, Lord, Heaven Father, and when Pilate saw questioning you, Lord Jesus, at first, excuse me, you were bleeding sweats or drops of blood in the garden. Thank you, Jesus. And then they beat you. You were bleeding. They put crowns of thorns on your head. You were bleeding already. Yeah. Heaven Father, they put nails in your hands and nails in your feet. You were bleeding. That's how much you love us, Jesus. You love us unconditionally. Hallelujah. And I thank you for it, Lord Jesus. And when the Roman soldier spears you in your side, and out came blood and water, Lord Jesus. You lift your head and say, it's done. It's done. I don't know what y'all came to do this morning, but I came up to lift up the name of Jesus. I came to praise his holy name because he is so worthy. He is so worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All my soul and all my might. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. What can I say about your mercy? What can I say about your grace? All I know is that you've been faithful. All I know is that I love to call your name. What can I say yeah. Mm. Yeah. about your mercy? What can I say about your grace? All I know is that you've been faithful. But one thing for sure is that I love to call your name. And if I say you're good,
can I say about your mercy? What can I say? Yesterday, more than today. I want y'all to hear something. Listen, listen at listen at the drum over there. Y'all left here last Sunday, and this is what they was jamming in here. Y'all hear that? Hit it, brother Taylor. Come on, Jesse, jump in there. Now watch the organist. That's called a musical instrumental solo. Just listen to him, listen to him. Hallelujah. More. Hallelujah. Put your hands together and give God glory in this place. We honor the spirit of the Lord and everyone in their respective places. Bishop Barry and Lady Barry, the Board of Deacons, the Board of Presbyters, our technicians, our nurses, ushers, even the little children. We thank God for you in this house today. There's a sweet spirit in this house. And it must be the spirit of the Lord. I got a feeling somebody want to have church before you leave here. Somebody want to give God glory before you leave here. Well, now is the time. There is a sweet spirit. Brother Elvis, can you play a little of that while we get our thoughts together? Because some of y'all ain't been thinking about Jesus. But somebody said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me. I ain't going to bother y'all. I ain't going to bother y'all. 
But if I had three people that would stand on their feet and give God glory, I believe God will be satisfied. I ain't gonna bother y'all. Hallelujah, somebody. I came to praise him. I came to praise him. I came to praise him. Oh, bless his name forever. John chapter number eight. God is good to us, saints. John chapter eight. I feel the anointing of God in this place. He didn't have to stop by here, but he did. And I'm so glad he did. Whatever you need, God has got it. I say God has got it. Nothing is too hard for God to do. I want to thank God for my wife, my good looking wife. And uh, thank her for putting up with me. It's not easy being married to a preacher. But I thank and God and help me honor her today, Sister Catherine Francis. I give her her flowers while she lives. And so many of you we don't see on a regular basis. When you don't see people, pray for them. Sister Bertha hasn't been here. Would you all lift her up in prayer? You don't know what people are going through. But to get to the other side, you've got to go through. I want to thank God for those that are listening to us by social media and the breadth and the length of this country. We don't know where the gospel is going, but it must go into the highways and hedges so we can compel men to come and be saved. Anybody in here glad about Jesus? God done anything for anybody? Just a few scriptures the Lord has impressed upon my heart to share with you. And if I could take my time in a hurry, I'm going to tell you what thus say the Lord. And I'll be headed to my seat. But the word of the Lord says in St. John chapter 8, verse 31. Then said Jesus to those Jews that believed on him, if he continue in my word, then ye are my disciples indeed. I want to extract verse number 32. Commit this to memory. Jesus said, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Mm-hmm. And they said, answered him, speaking of the scribes and Pharisees, we be Abraham's seed, and we have never been bondage to any man. How said thou ye shall make, we shall be made free. Verse number 34, Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. Verse number 36 will be my second verse. I want to extract. If the son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Verse number 32, I will repeat, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. If the Son therefore make you free, I said if the Son makes you free, if the Son makes you free, not the S-O, not the S-U-N, but the S-O-N, if God makes you free, I wish I had some free folk in here. You shall be free indeed. I want to talk about the great emancipator. And if you don't know what his name is, it's Jesus. Uh, 
we just celebrated the United States, the most decorated holiday this year called the 4th of July, Amen. known as Independence Day. Firecrackers and guns and hot dogs and everything was all over town and we were just having a good time because of the 4th of July. People were just, I mean, you couldn't even sleep at night. Didn't know whether it was a good, but people were calling themselves celebrating what is known as Independence Day. Those that came from England were to escape the wrath of the king. So they took three boats or three ships and swim. I mean, they, they took three boats and, and floated across that ocean and came to what is called America, the home of the brave and the land of the free. But I just want to tell somebody that here it is, another holiday, and we still ain't free. Do I have a witness in him? Now, don't y'all try to jump ahead of me. Don't, 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 don't leave me out here by myself. We, as a people, as a nation, has forgotten God. But we still ain't free. We, we live in this country. It's supposedly a government of the people, by the people, for the people. But we ain't free. I remember as a kid growing up in Texas, we used to have to learn the preamble of the Constitution of the United States. And it said, we the people of the United States of America, for which it stand, you have to stand and salute the flag in school. One nation under God, how many remember that? One nation under God with visible, invisible with liberty and justice for all. But justice is running rampant everywhere but in the courthouse. This country was built on prayer. This country was built because people wanted freedom of the press. And here it is thousands of years later and we still are enslaved. This nation was built for liberty and justice, but that's far from the truth. The Negro was brought over here. It was supposed to be a land of opportunity for us. It was a village of slave huts. This was supposed to be a land where you can enjoy your freedom from the queen. But over 246 years later, we were still not free. It was not until 1863. I'm just trying to help y'all to skip your black history class. In 1863, President Lincoln signed an emancipation, I knew I was going to mess it up, big word for freedom, emancipation proclamation saying that all Negroes were to be freed. Over 8,000 black people were freed from slavery. But, somebody say but. The word did not get into Texas until two years later. And when we found out down in Texas that Negroes were free, we parted hard. And it was on June the 19th. 1865. That's why I can't understand so many people never heard of Juneteenth. Well, you had to be in Texas to know what I'm talking about. Now everybody wants to celebrate June the 19th. July the 4th was not our holiday. It was June the 19th. Somebody say, thank God for Juneteenth. But segregation still ran rampant in this country, especially in the South. America was a racially divided country of black and white, no in-between. It was not until, what was it, in 1965, and I remember this very well, when Dr. Martin Luther King marched from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama to protest injustice done in this country and to seek civil rights for everybody in this country and around the world. It cost him his life but we still weren't free. Somebody ought to give God the praise. 
you didn't just stump your toe and fall on here. Some lives were lost for us to enjoy our freedom. I'm talking about being emancipated, set free. America is considered to be one of the greatest countries in the world, or in the free world, that is. But we need to turn it around when we say, God bless America. I'm going to say it again. It's time for America to bless God. And this country will never be great again until we put Jesus back on the throne. Hallelujah, somebody. I wish I had some help in here. We, 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 we take the celebrate year all year long, just day for everything. But our time to celebrate is in February, the shortest month of the year. But I can praise him all day long, all year long, because he's a great emancipator. He's a great emancipator, and he emancipated me. It was in, in I think it was back in the day in 1984-85 when Bruce Springsteen, you that are old enough to remember, came back from Vietnam and he sang that song, Born in the USA. Somebody said that was not a patriotic song, but whatever he meant, we still weren't free. Separatism, uh, everything was just, just messed up. But I'm gonna tell you what the Bible said. The Bible said pride exalt the nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Jesus said, if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray. We need to go back to praying, church, and turn from our wicked ways. Then will he hear from heaven and heal our land. That's why the COVID was such a widespread disease, man-made, because America would not turn his face, not only America, but the black church has stopped praying, seeking answers in all the wrong places. But I hear Jesus saying, if I be lifted up, mm -hmm, I will draw all men unto me, red, yellow, black, and white. Hallelujah. We are all precious in his sight. And God loved us enough. I wish I had some help in here. He gave his only begotten son to liberate us from the law of sin. And, and, and let me serve notice on some of you. Romans 3 and 23 says, I believe somewhere around there, all have sinned. You might not be sinning today with your sanctified look on, but you've done some stuff. Let me talk to the deacons and the brethren. See, brethren don't mind telling they stuff. We had some dirt, didn't we, brethren? Y'all say amen. amen. We did some stuff that we didn't want nobody to know about and still don't know about. But God delivered me. Amen. Woo! God delivered me. I need three people to just jump up and they will deliver from your mess. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Amen. He looked beyond our faults. <laughs> You can be sanctified today, but you done done some dirt. Mm-hmm. But God forgave you. Bless your heart. All have sinned. I ain't talking about you. I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. I'm going to say it again. Maybe it'll resonate in your spirit when you get home. All have sinned. And come short. He that is whole don't need a doctor. Don't need a But we that were lost needed a savior. And, and, and some of us was messed up from the flow up. Mm-hmm. Was going to hell fast and didn't have no hope. But I heard somebody say, he lifted me. Oh, some of Abakayata. From sinking sand, he lifted me. He lifted me from the guttermost from the curbstone of life and he gave me a second chance do I have a witness in here Jesus was our emancipator he was our liberator from sin he was our reconciliation back to God because sin had separated us from God whether it was by omission 
a commission. So you can see in, on either side of the coin whether you omitted it and left it out as still as bad as doing it and know you're doing it wrong. Well, I ain't, you know, sin is sin, honey. Don't put no category. All, is that what the Bible said? All unrighteousness is sin. You can, you can think sin. You can drink sin. You can live sin. But God, somebody say, but God, who is rich in mercy, hallelujah, wherewith he loved us and he gave us a second chance. You're not sitting in here on your own, own righteousness. Your pedigree, your, your bank account didn't get you here. It was the grace. Who said that? It was the grace. Hallelujah. Of God. Why don't you clap your hands and praise him? Oh, bless his name forever. Jesus emancipated us. Hallelujah. We were born in sin. Shaping in iniquity. Sin was in your nature. You didn't have to learn how to sin. And, and, and the one thing I found about babies, babies lie when they ain't lying. That baby sat there and holler, and you get up out of your bed. You might not do it done, but when that child was little, y'all remember that? And you pick that baby up and they shut up real quick. That baby was lying. Wasn't nothing wrong with that child. I felt that one deep. <laughs> Quit giving them everything they won't tell them about Jesus. Hotobo Shama. That baby be in there hollering, you feed him, he's still crying, chain diaper. Ain't nothing wrong with that baby. Put that baby down, let that baby holler. I ain't talking about you, I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. And that's the way the devil has us. We're hollering wolf, wolf, and blaming the devil for everything. No, you need to holler, help! God delivered me. Why should I be bound? The devil came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And he's working overtime on church people. But I declared by the grace of God, I'm going to stand still. I'm not going to run. I'm not going to hide. And I'm not going to holler. I'm going to stand still and watch God deliver us. Hallelujah, somebody, from the hand of the enemy. Here it is, 2023. We are still not free. Martin Luther King said he had a dream. We should be able to buy houses wherever we wanted to live in neighborhoods. But there is no safe neighborhood, my friend. People are carrying guns in open arms now. And if you don't have the blood of Jesus, the Bible said you that live by the sword is going to and, 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 and I want to talk about democracy, a land of the free, the home of the brave. We all are not equal. I'm going to put it to you that way. We are made out of one blood, just different skins. And I found out the other day, preacher, that there are some black Democrats in town, and then there are some black, did I say that right? Republicans. I didn't know. But now I know. You can't judge a man by the color of his skin. A doctor told me, he said, I'm a Republican, and I looked at him. He looked like me. You can't judge people. Everybody in here looks saved. Everybody in here talks saved. But everybody ain't saved. And if God delivered you, you owe him a praise. Hallelujah. Oh, bless it. God delivered you. God delivered you. You were a liar. You were a cheater. You were a homemonger. You were an alcoholic. But God, but God delivered you. Hallelujah. God delivered me. Why should I be bound? And if you are free, you ought to praise him like you're free. I'm tired of begging folks to stand up. Something within you, hallelujah, that I want to make you want to give God the praise. If it wasn't for the Lord on your side, you would be living in sin, doing everything that you thought was big enough for you to do and bad enough for you to do, but his grace... 
it keeps you in the midnight hour. The devil tell you everybody else is doing it. Why don't you do it? You're a liar. I'm saved by the grace of God. I might not be, Deke, what I used to be, but I thank God I ain't what I am because I'm going from higher heights to deeper depths. God delivered anybody in here? God saved anybody in here? Uh, y'all, y'all so quiet over Let me go over here. Is anybody over here free? I'm, I, ain't talking about, I ain't talking about emancipation now. I'm talking about Holy Ghost free, sanctified free, set free with a tongue talking. Holy Ghost, God delivered you. Woo! You used to do stuff that was, mm, mm, mm. Y'all know y'all was junkies. Whoremongers and liars. Stuff that ain't even got a name. We did it. Drinking alcohol and, and liquor and shoe polish and grapefruit juice and everything. Sleeping with anybody we thought we could get with. Cussing mama out. Stealing grandmama's money, but God delivered you. I heard Bishop Apostle Matthew Norwood say years ago, what do we look like one lump of dirt not want to speak to another lump of dirt. That's all we are. But we are free. Not to serve Satan, but to serve the God that called us. Woo! I wish I had a praise. God emancipated you. And you owe him a praise. If it wasn't for the Lord, you would be anywhere doing anything. God picked us up out of the gutter. And I'm just trying to help you get your praise on. You and I can dance like David danced, but you dance like you dance. And if you can't dance, just tell him thank you. And, 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 and you know, let me, I'm going to step on your toe. So pull him up under the seat. Saints curse. Thank you. They cuss. All have sin. You might not be cursing now, but you have sin. We say some ugly words. And then come in here, say, no, 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 no. You better stop wearing your Holy Ghost on your shoulder. If you have been emancipated, let the light of God shine in your life. Young lady came up to me, I was telling my wife, she said, where do you go to church? And me and myself, you know, the Lord said, what you going to tell them? She said, where do you? I said, how do you know I go to church? But I said, Rehoboth Temple, 1111 East Long Street. She said, I'm looking for a church home. You got to let your light shine. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wherever you go. You got to be a light in a dark room. Don't be ashamed. If God delivered you, if God brought you out of the mess you were in, you ought to be able to tell everybody that God delivered me. Some of us are free, but we are in the closet. God don't have no closet saints. God don't have no hidden Christians. If you are with him, you're with him. If he saved you, you ought to tell somebody. If God healed you, if God blessed you, you are not under the jaws of the devil. God said, I'm saving you for a purpose. Look at the thousands have gone on into glory and you still here. God delivered you. I told the young lady, and you know what she told me a few days? She said, I listened to your church. I hear y'all. Somebody ought to be able to look at you. Oh, bless his name for her. I ain't preaching. I'm just fussing right now. Somebody ought to see you when you come out of your house. I tell about Kush and know that you're different. When you go into Kroger's, the marketplace, somebody ought to look at you and say, that's a Christian woman. That's a man. And I remember years ago, I'm almost finished. They said on my job, don't curse around him. He's a preacher. I didn't tell nobody I was a preacher. 
but your light is shining, saints. Don't put it under a bushel. If you don't have nothing nice to say, shut your mouth and let God be glorified. They know you're a Christian. They just want to see what you say about it. But everywhere I go, I want to praise him. I want to let the world know because why? We're living in dark days. We're living in, this earth is not going to last much longer. The handwriting is on the wall. God is soon to come, saints. Let's praise him. Let's get on one accord. Hallelujah. If you don't want to stand up, if you don't want to shout, give God the praise the best way you can. Because if it hadn't been for God, if it hadn't been for the Lord, I give you glory. The greatest day in history has just subsided and we are not free. But Deke, I'm gonna be free. I don't need no marches. I don't need no dogs. I don't need no crosses. All I need is the blood of Jesus. That's what he came to do, to seek and to save that which was lost. I was lost. I was messed up from the floor up. Anybody else? I was jacked. Hallelujah. If you didn't raise your hand, you need to come on down and ask God to refill you so you won't be ashamed. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. You see what I'm saying? God, God did some wonderful, I mean, he did, and he keeps on doing them. Do I have a witness? Nobody has to pass a law in Congress to tell you if you are free. Hallelujah. I thank God for what our four parents did. And we come in here like, like mm, they were beat across their back. They had to work from daylight to dark to get us where we are. They were called names. They were, they were treated so bad. But God sent Jesus. Thank God we are free at last. I said, thank God we are free. And if the sun sets you free, you don't need no music, but every once in a while, I want to hear some boom, 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 boom. Because it's in your song that your testimony tells God how blessed you are to have him in your life. Am I helping anybody? I don't need the 4th of July to tell me that I'm free. I don't need June 19. All I have to do is look into the word of God. And it says, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. I go to Brother Colossians. He said, set your affections on things above. And the things you love, those are the things that you want to encounter. See, if you love alcohol, you're going to hang around alcoholics. And if you love lying, you're going to find a liar. And see, who can tell the biggest one? But God forgave us all. I wish I had a praying church. In St. John, I just want to remind you what the Bible said. The third chapter, the story of Nicodemus. Uh-huh. Nicodemus was a Pharisee. And he was a ruler of the Jews. And, and he was a disciple of Christ, but he was one that was in the closet. It would be nice if we get some of those folks out of Congress who come down here and have church with us. I'm going to say this, but I might have to need some bodyguards. All of these people walking these dogs, they need to come in here. Thank you. I got one of you, man. Live so God can use you anywhere and anytime. The Bible said that Nicodemus was a ruler of the Jews. But he was a follower of Christ. That's why I say we got some Republicans in here. I mean, some Democrats in here. We got some liberals. And we got some of everybody. But everybody don't know who Jesus is. He's the lily in my valley. I just want to make sure y'all heard me. Because some of y'all sleep. But if you wake up and give God the glory, 
Hallelujah, he's worthy. So Nicodemus came to Jesus by night and he sought him because Jesus went everywhere doing good. He, 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 he healed folks that were oppressed of the devil. He gave sight to the blind. Do I have a witness in here? He unstopped death ears. Hallelujah. Everywhere Jesus went, he hooked folk up. Do I have a witness in here? But this man called Nicodemus, hallelujah, came to Jesus at night. At least he came. All right? And at night he said, Rabbi, which means teacher, we know that thou art come from God because no man, hallelujah, can do what you did except he be from God. Jesus had just went to, to his first miracle in Cana of Galilee. There he turned water to wine. And it was all over town. Jesus fed 5,000 people at one time. He turned around and fed 4,000. He kept doing good everywhere. And the word got around. And the Bible said the Jews believed on him. Nicodemus, Nicodemus didn't want his constituents to know that he was seeking this lowly man from Galilee. So he came to Jesus at night and asked him, hallelujah, what he had to do. Master, hallelujah, the third verse of the third chapter. Jesus said, except a man be born of the woman, I mean, a man be born again. I'll get to that born again part after a while. Except ye be born of the water and spirit. I'm talking about regenerated, emancipated from a life of sin. He said, you cannot. I want that to soak in. You cannot even see the kingdom of God. Jesus was teaching Nicodemus. He said, except ye be born again. Some of y'all need to be born again. And there's nothing wrong with it. Take off that old garment of flesh, that old garment of sin, and, and stop. You know, it ain't no big sins. In the, you can say the wrong thing. You can do the wrong thing. It's just as bad as going out committing adultery. Except ye be born of the water and of the spirit. If you're not born of the spirit, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. If you're not born of the water, you can't even see the kingdom of God. Now, everybody in here, I'm going to close my eyes so I won't see who's telling the truth. Everybody in here that's been born again, just raise your hand. I said, I'm going to close my Oh, Lord, we need to hurry up and have an altar call. Because, saints, we're living in perilous times. You can't make it in this world without Jesus. You can't make it, hallelujah. Thank you. In this world without Christ. Because the devil, that's good. The devil is after all of us. And if you have Jesus in your life, you ought to tell somebody. Jesus said, Nicodemus, you've got to be born again. We ain't going back to picking cotton no more and, and working in slave huts, living in, in rundown houses. We've got to emancipate what we We have more than we ever had. These children got so much stuff, they don't know what to do with it. But mama didn't tell them about Jesus. Somebody that can free you. Somebody that can keep you free. Somebody that can, when you're down and out, hallelujah, you can call Jesus. In the midnight hour, when your best friend stopped talking to you, you can call Jesus. He's the great emancipator. And he said, you shall know the truth. Hallelujah. And truth is going to set you free. People don't want to know truth now. You know why? Because truth will free you. Hallelujah. If you don't want the job, tell them you don't want the job. Don't be down there taking our money under false pretenses. Hallelujah. If you're sick, tell them you're sick so we can get some medicine to heal you. If you're lost, hallelujah, God can find you. Hallelujah, somebody, because he found me. He picked me up from the gutter and raised me to the uttermost. Jesus saves. He wants to free somebody today. This is no accident that you were here. You're bound and you don't want to tell nobody you're bound. You're bound to, to, to the gods of this world. 
the gods of good looks, the gods of credit cards, the gods of your, your self-righteousness. Come on and let Jesus hook you up. Jesus said, you will know the truth. A truth and lie can't wear the same clothes. Hallelujah. I'm going to say it again. The truth and a lie can't wear the same clothes. But if you know the truth, if you are a disciple of Christ, you're not ashamed. If God healed you, you're not ashamed. If God delivered you, you're not ashamed. If God stopped you from cursing and drinking and smoking and lying and lounging around, you are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born again. Nicodemus looked at him, a very educated man. In the middle of the night, he said, how can I be born again? I'm going to make it simple for y'all. Jesus said, born of the water and spirit. Two things. Hallelujah. And if you're not born of the water, you can't see the kingdom of God. If you're not born of the spirit, you can't enter the kingdom of God. And hell is a hot place for you to spend eternity forever and ever. Hallelujah. I can just can't imagine that. And, and nowhere to hide. No, uh-uh. You put your stove, your finger on the stove and you burn it and you yank it back because you can't take the heat. Satan wants to destroy you. He wants to take you out of here. But Jesus said, I came that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. I hope somebody will take heart even if you don't have a whole lot of money, good looks or fine clothes. God delivered you. Somebody say, God delivered me. Why should I be bound? So the Jews came to Jesus and they questioned him about his, his identity. And they said, we will never be enslaved to no man because Abraham is our father. And Jesus said, you must be born again. If you want to enter the kingdom of God, sin will take you where you don't want to go. Make you stay longer than you want to stay and cost you. So just leave it alone. Sin is a dangerous thing. Hallelujah. You do it when you don't want to do it. Read Romans chapter 7, I believe. Paul said, there is no good in me. Every time I wanted to do good, evil was always present. The devil get all up in your dreams. Hallelujah. I wish I had a witness. Jesus said, the truth shall make you free. Here it is, 2023. Some of us are still not free. There is a penalty and a punishment for sin. But one day, we that live godly are going to be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. And we're going to be taken away from the presence of sin. Because that's why Jesus came, that we might have life. Now, if you are free, I want you to stand on your feet right quick and give God the praise. But if you're still bound by sin, I want you to ask God to forgive you. Hallelujah, somebody. Let's praise him, church, for his goodness and his mercy to me. You may be seated because I just want to make a few more things clear to you. There's a song, Brother Alvis. And, and y'all glad I can't sing because I would if I could. And I thank God for this choir. But the song that says, I'm free, who sang that song? Praise the Lord, I'm free. I can't wait for no president to free me. I can't wait for my cousin to free me. My finances, my finances can't even free me. But I'm free. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. If you're free, you ought to give God the praise from a life of sin, a life of degradation. Hallelujah, somebody.
Now you know you ain't free. You don't have to tell nobody. The weights of sin are on you. You do wrong and the devil come back and tell you it was all right. I'm free. Hallelujah. You might not be what I used to be, but I ain't what I ought to be. Because I'm free. I wish I had three people that were free. The great emancipator called Jesus. He lifts me up when I'm down. Hallelujah. He makes me glad when I'm sad. He heals me. That's what I like about him. He's a million. He's a million good things all wrapped up in one. Are you free today? You don't have to go home the same way you came. The devil fighting you. But if you are free, I'm free. Are y'all free? Praise the Lord. Are y'all free? Are y'all free? I know y'all free. No more chain. No alcohol, no drugs, no cigarettes. No homemongers, no homosexuals, no liars. All will have their part in the lake. Stand to your feet. As we sing together, I'm free. I don't want you to leave here bound. Hallelujah. Shama mama kayata. I am at shanama. Lift those hands. Thank God for freedom. My soul, give God glory. Praise the Lord. One more time, church. Let's sing it with a loud voice. Let the devil know somebody is free. I'm free. Sing it, church. No longer bound. Thank God for your freedom. He died. God so loved the world. He gave my soul. Praise the Lord. With your heads bowed and your eyes closed. Don't be a slave to sin. Slave to your job, your family, your children. What's binding you? What's holding you back? What's keeping you from serving God like you are? Don't let sickness and diseases bind your spirit. But God is telling me somebody in here is not free. And if you are not free, you don't have to tell nobody. Nobody don't need to know your business because they got problems of their own. But come to this altar now and we're going to pray. And we're going to join hands. If he can free one of us, he can clean you up from alcohol, from lying, from cursing, backbiting. Just a little stuff that... Mm, it don't have to be big. It's just your evil thoughts. Come and stand with us. Now, if you don't come, I assume that you are rapture ready. Singer church. Just come down and let's have prayer because I want to get stronger. They're coming from everywhere. Why don't you come? I need Jesus to stay free. Come on, church. Let's pray with these souls. If you are free, help them get free. My soul is resting. Praise the Lord. Now listen. While we are praying, God said you have children that are not free the Lord told me to ask you to bow your head and every one of your children call their names in prayer 
right now. The Lord said some of you have grandchildren that are bound on drugs, slave to sin. Call that baby's name. Some of you have neighbors in your neighborhood that are not free, but you are free, thank God. Some people on your job acting crazy, they are not free. They are bound. Don't be scared. God can free them. I'm free. My soul is rest. I want you to leave here free. Don't be bound by no man, no woman, no situation. If you're free, just give God that praise. Praise the Lord. I said, if you are free, I'm no longer, take your seats if you can. You may be seated. Hallelujah. That's the blessing. Praise the Lord. If you have not been baptized, now is the time. Our deacons here to attend to you. I'm free. I'm enjoying my freedom. I'm enjoying it. Don't need no hot dogs, no potato salad, because my soul is arrested. Don't need no barbecue. I'm free. I'm free. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands and praise God. Free at last. Thank God Almighty. When you see people in the streets, hear me good, that's acting crazy, they're demon oppressed and about to be demon possessed. Thank God for your freedom and a right mind. How many people are in here free today? And don't mind letting the devil know I'm free. I thank God for all of you that have come. I love this music department and these brothers. I don't know how they did it without me, but I thank God for them. I thank God somebody is free today and you ought not be afraid to tell it. I'm free. Because when he come back, he's not going to ask you to get ready. You've got to be ready. Continue to pray for our pastor. He's away on assignment. We have a holy convocation coming up. I believe vacation Bible school. And these children don't have to run the street. I'd close my eyes so y'all won't see what I'm looking at you. But bring these children to a vacation Bible school. You have an obligation to God to train up a child. I don't care whether they don't want to come. Bring them anyway. Sunday school is back in business. <clears throat> oh, bless his name. This altar is free. God don't change and God don't charge. God be with you until we meet again. If all been said, I'm going to ask you to stand. Let's leave out here with a shout if you're free. Anybody free? I'm not ashamed. Tell God, thank you for your freedom. Free at last. Free at last. Thank God Almighty. I'm free at last. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory. To the only wise God our Savior. Be glory, majesty, power, and dominion both now and forevermore. And let the whole church say amen. amen. And thank God. If you're free, praise the Lord. You're free. God bless you. And thank God for all of you.
Praise the Lord. 